All right. You guys ready to get started? All right. I'm definitely uh-huh. ready to try. I'm as ready as I can be. All right. Hopefully this will not be a catastrophe. All right. <clears throat> so welcome to the 1000th Christmas hosted by me, Jason Pizza Man. Subscribe. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you all have found yourselves um, in Jingle Town. Now, Christmas, it's Christmas Eve, and Jingle Town around this year is hustling and bustling uh, because uh, nearby is Mr. Kringle's workshop. Mr. Kringle uh, has a reputation of delivering presents um, every Christmas Eve to everyone around the land. Now, uh, all of you have come to Jingle Town, I assume for your own reasons, and you all find yourselves in the Milk and Cookies Tavern. And uh, would you like to introduce your characters? Who wants to go first? Go on, Crafty. Thanks, leave. Right. Yeah, thanks, thanks for volunteering, Crafty. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're too shy here. My name is Frederick Fizzlewiz. Artificer extraordinaire. I have come far and wide to seek the big man himself to see if I can find a position within his workshop, as I am quite skilled in building contraptions and explosives, and I feel that those skills would be greatly appreciated for the holiday spirit. All right. Are you sure your name's not Squillard? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So who is next? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm Charcoal Dickens. I uh, I've been working in the mines since I was a boy, and uh, I'm looking to escape them. Uh, get this this charcoal dust off my hands. I'm Travis, <laughs> and and I'm here drinking my 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 sorrows away because the turkeys are it's this time of year again, and the turkeys are coming back for me after all the all the hunting I do to prepare for the Christmas season and. The, they're whispering in my ears again. They're coming back for me. I can hear them cluck, 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 clucking all night long. <laughs> the cluck. Yes, they do. <laughs> it is not theirs. They do. <laughs> I don't know what accent that was, but I'm sticking with it. If I can remember. <laughs> Mate, I'm going to have the same issue. I came up with that on the spot, so we'll see how this goes. Yep, it's going to be fun. <laughs> the voice acting where you have to improv your shit. I am uh, Reindeer of Turkey. I have been raised by my mother and father in the ways of being a gnome for many years. And it has long been my dream to come and help Mr. Kringle in his workshop. So I am here. I'm my little snow form. I live like snow form. I live like mountain. Ten miles south of this place, I guess. It's just oh, I've been scared of coming and trying to help with my memory, and also help protect, I guess. Um, you find yourselves up at the uh, the bar of the Milk and Cookies Tavern. I'm just start drinking for. Ah, oh, have we all come to help Mr. Kringle this year with his work? Oh yes, uh, uh, definitely. Pretty, I, 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 I'm saying I do go further than that to say I'll be here for the foreseeable future and beyond. I was gonna say you're uh, rather I don't believe I've uh, ever met an Aracocra before. I've heard of Oh, no have I! I am a gnome, friend. I I must be going senile in my age, because uh, I, I don't believe I've ever seen a gnome that, that scaled past five foot. Well, I have been told I am quite tall for a gnome, and uh, I have an unusually hard beard, but my mother and father have they are gnomes? And uh, they have always told me I am a gnome, so I must be a gnome. You sure you're not adopted? What is this word adopted? My friend, I, I don't I don't think you need to worry about it. Thank you, my friend. Would you like a drink? I'll uh I'll take a drink. A drink for everybody. All of my fellow gnomes. And as you go to order the drink, you see that the bartender is actually a uh life sized gingerbread man. I would like five drink. of your finest meads. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, and he goes over and uh, he pours it, and it's like really thick and chunky. There you go, straight from the beehive, here you go. This, hey, this is particularly uh, thick. What, uh, what, is, what is in here? What is in this? 
Well, I mean, we mixed it with eggnog. It's uh, part of uh, Jingo Town tradition. I immediately start drinking. I, I've, I've, <laughs> I I've chugged maybe drink. half of it in about the three seconds after he said eggnog, and I'm starting on my second. I get a gingerbread one instead. I prefer gingerbread. Kind of looks at you funny. Um, I'm and he goes and he pours you some. Uh... Frederick, right? Is hey, what, what, what was that? You're Frederick, aren't you? Yes, Frederick Fizzlewiz. I've got your turkey for you when you want it. I'll be around tomorrow. You let me know. Ah, excellent. Yes, yes, I believe I did have some turkey experiments set up for around about 5 p.m. You do what you want with them. Just get them out of my sight. I, I gotta say, if you're if you're, you're that afraid of turkeys, why would you do business with them? I weren't always afraid of them. It's only this time of year when they come and knocking again. Either way, I've got you too. I, I, uh, sort of push my ale aside, uh, with a little bit of look of, uh, distaste at the, the lumpiness of the ale. <laughs> I kind of, like, look at you and I'm like, do you, do you mind if I, uh, if I have oh, by, by all means, dear boy, go. Reach go forward and I, I start to, and I start to drink it. And so, you there, uh, Gingerbread Man, do you, do you have a name? Oh, uh, yes, uh, my name is Gingerbread Number Four. Ah, very good, very <laughs> efficient. So, Number Four, uh, tell me, we are here to see the big man, Mr. Kringle himself. Uh, what do we need to do to, uh, get an appointment? Oh, do you wish to see the, uh, you wish to see Mr. Kringle? Well, it just so happens that uh, I've heard that Mr. Kringle is looking to hire someone to uh, take care of some sort of business for him. Um, one of his uh, gnomes is stationed uh, uh, at the uh, at the, the reception desk at the uh, the uh, at well, the gnome station where where people deliver their letters to Mr. Kringle. You might be able to. Uh, Talk to them there and perhaps arrange a meeting with him. Thank you very much. Uh, well, are you welcome? It's no problem at all. Well, I think we should go find this gnome station then. One, one second. Uh, my friend, uh, one more for the road. Ah, uh, absolutely, yes. He pours you another one and uh, hands it to you. And I, I take it along. <laughs> uh, I get hot chocolate to go. Better. A chocolate, okay. And he goes and uh, he finds like it's just giant. Uh, it look, it's a giant container. It looks like a chocolate chip cookie. And he uncorks it. It's just like gloop, 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 into this mug, and he hands it to you. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. And I'll, I'll I'll start to leave and drinking the mug, mugs I go, and I like slam it on or on the the tables as I go. I don't think it is to go. <laughs> I, 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 I turn I turn around to you and go, um, this, where 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 are you go? You you going out of town, away, away from the turkeys? <laughs> uh, we need to, I need to go find this gnome that that can get me in contact with the big man. They're going yeah, to get a job we'll for Mr. Kringle. And yeah, that job will take yeah. us out of town. From the turkey. I'll come with you. I'll see what you have to say. Maybe he can. Uh, yeah, I'll come with you. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll maybe he can uh, help the both of us. Yeah. Let me get something for your turkey. Yeah. All right. As you step together. out into Jingle Town, um, you see that there are a lot of stores uh, around. Like I said, this place is really it's like a tourist destination nowadays. And, uh, it's, you see, it's, like, very colorful, unlike this map that I found, because it was free. Um, <laughs> but, uh, there are, you can see there's, like, candy kind of styled buildings, and there's a lot of, like, tinsel and, uh, like, candy canes kind of stuff. Can we see a gnome station? Uh, make a perception check. Perception, okay. Um... You don't see a gnome station, but you can see there's a sign, uh, it's about, like, maybe right here. It says, like, gnome station this way. So as you, uh, walk by, you see there's some, uh, there's some stores. Uh, as, as I'm walking, you've probably seen before that I've got basically charcoal dust over my, like, hands and forearms. 
but since I'm no longer near a table or anything, you notice I'm also completely barefoot. And the bottom half of my leg is basically also covered in just this black charcoal that is kind of like, kind of like insulating me from the cold. Peter Plum Apothecary, Silent Might, Gay Apparel, and Reindeer Games. Uh, there is a, uh... <laughs> there's a Candy Cane Ring Toss. Alright, so go ahead and make a dexterity check for me. Oh, Sorry. wow. Yep, that way. Yeah, plus, yep, plus four decks. You managed, yep, you managed to throw it, and it's, uh, goes, it's kind of swivels down onto the candy cane, so you got one. Dang! All right, the other one goes on. There's another one. It goes on there perfectly. More? And the, you got all three. Nice! Uh, thanks for that. Well done, Milo. You are a great big tosser. So I'm just gonna leave the building now. He walks out with with that wall <laughs> now in his head. At which point, uh, Frederick has come out of the building. Uh, who's a big tosser? Apparently, uh, uh, I, I have a according to the her. I, I believe Milo is a oh, great. No is the greatest. It was me. He is, is a great the, big tosser. He's the greatest greatest tosser these people have ever seen. I think is what he said. That was the uh, Oh, henceforth we shall know you as Milo the Great Tosser. I take it if everybody is done looking at these stores, we can continue our way on to Mr. Kringles. Yeah, that's head up there. Yes, we must find oh, one station. Alright. So, as you head uh, this way here, uh, you can see that these are fields of candy canes and lollipops. And you see right here, there is like a little uh, booth that says uh, Mr. Kringle, Mr. Kringle Inquiries. What can we see? All right. So you walk up and like you said, there's a pink haired gnome um, sitting there with the red cap on. She goes, Hello there. Can I help you? <laughs> we are looking for Mr. Kringle. We want to have job. Hey, you're looking for a work with Mr. Kringle. Oh, okay. Are you inquiring about the job that he was looking for? Yes. Yeah. Oh. oh, well, very well. Follow me. She leads you uh, over the bridge and uh, out into the, uh, not really the frozen wasteland, but it's like, uh, you know, it's like a field of snow heading into a forest. As you walk out of the town, uh, you see that there are a couple of kids having a snowball fight, and one um, flies and hits Char Charcoal Dickens in the back of the head. Oh, you have been got! You have to get him back now. Is that like, like a pebble nearby? Make an investigation check. Twelve. Uh, yeah, you find a tiny little pebble in the snow. I I throw it at the child. I, <laughs> I throw the pebble pebble snowball at the child. Make an attack roll. Is, would you say this is equivalent to like a dart throw? So I'll use darts. Yeah, that'll work. Gotta make uh, 15. <laughs> yeah, uh, you smack the child right in the face and he falls down and starts crying. Oh, good shot. I like smile to myself, and chuckle, the other children and then run away. I take, I take it out of my like, I've got like a, around my waistband, I pull out like a, like a hip flask and I take off the, the top and I like take a sip. And I put it back in. <laughs> that Look wasn't there. very nice of you. I was just, I was just, you know, snowball fight. I thought that was, that you was don't what we were doing. Put pebbles in a snowball. I did no such thing. I fucking saw you. You've got no proof. It's all right, Chaco. We all know you are a big man. You defeated some children in a snowball fight. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> And I, I like, I like nod at him. And I like smile. Like, Thank you. You know, somebody respects no, game. Sorry, asshole is a big asshole. To like what? Five year old? He's okay. He's hey. not greatest tosser in all of town. You do not have to be jealous. I'm gonna send one of you to hell one of these days. Eventually, she leads you, like, to the edge of the forest, and, uh, she walks up to one of the trees, and she whispers something to it, and, like, a snow flurry floats by, and uh, you see there's this giant 
uh, not, not really giant, but a fairly decent sized workshop in front of you. Ah, oh, that might be the workshop. I've been looking forward to this for many days now. Oh, glorious! It's in, so friends. I, t right. I turn to the um, artificer and I'm like, Razia, and then I just sprint. Aha! Uh -huh. the uh, you guys are running after us. He was unprepared for that. <laughs> make a, I guess, make a dexterity check. I've also got to point out that I have ten additional feet of movement because unarmed movement. But yes, watch me fail this. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> I trip on another pebble. <laughs> you face plant into the snow. This sudden burst of speed kind of. Um... It's probably soft a little bit, and you suddenly see him just raise his crossbow and just start looking around like that. <laughs> I will lift Whoa! Whoa, friend! Chill! Chill! We're okay! Um, i I Can I see the child? <laughs> child? The child I threw the snowball at earlier. Oh, they're gone. Uh, you, already, well, you already walked by them. Can I see another child? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frederick has, uh, has paid no attention to what else has gone on behind him. It's just run all the way up to the front door. I'll follow afterwards, and I'll like flip it, flick him um, a gold coin. <laughs> uh, I, like, I don't think I don't think winning, winning a race classifies as you getting the job. Well, what would you know? It depends on what the job is. If it is racing, then perhaps he gets job. If it's about being a tosser, oh, well, oh. We, we know who's got that job, right? If we know it's about beating children, you have job. Thank you. It's some... fair. It is a skill learned over many years. And if it's some poultry PS... uh, PTSD scenario, then we know it goes to Travis. <laughs> I, it's, and I, I, I turn and I shout, Turkey! And I point at Milo. <laughs> Do I definitely look like a turkey? Yes, sure. I'm secretly a turkey. I'm We've stuck out three voices. Yeah, totally a turkey. Yeah, sure. He, he shot at Milo. Let him make the attack roll. I'm on from the You shout turkey. I, I'm. Where is it? Uh. Does a 16 hit? <laughs> What, yeah. What's your AC, Milo? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 yeah. You know you could have just looked at me! Well, I believe he did. That's how he knew where to shoot. Oh, Milo, <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I, I, I totally... I totally thought you were a turkey. Uh... If we're all done with these shenanigans, can we go in? Oh. Yeah, I'll go into the workshop. Uh, yep, yeah, you will arrive at the workshop, and then the front door is right here. I stand, I stand to attention. I smart myself up a right. little bit, and I knock right. on the door. In the back. So she leaves you were saying, He's right this way! And she starts leading you in. And, um... You can see there's a lot of gnomes that are like working on toys and whatnot. There's some over here. Uh, they're eating something. You don't really know what it is. I'm gonna take a guess and say it's something tooth decaying. Um, he goes, please follow me. And uh, she starts walking over this way. And she goes behind here. I'm, 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 I can ambush. I'm, I'm just right at the back, just like, cool. Alright, and uh, right here, uh, she knocks on the door. You hear something? Oh, come in! And the door opens. And inside, you see a, bearded, a white bearded man in a red coat. Can you guys see that? Uh, yes. Yeah. So just pretend this is another room. The yeah. map isn't like perfect. I step forward yeah. and I bow. Mr. Kringle, my name is Frederick Fizzlewiz. I have traveled very far to be in your service. Oh, ho, ho. 
Wow, it's so nice to see people taking an interest in the holiday spirit. Yes, I indeed. Mean, I mean, it'll help you with protection and other services, such as helping with leather as well. <laughs> it seems like you could be of great assistance to me. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed, sir. Anything you need, sir. Well, you see, and he sits down behind his desk, as you know, this is the 1,000th Christmas. My 1,000th trip delivering presents to all the good little boys and girls of the land. However, it seems that there have been, um, let's say, some dissension in the ranks. Uh, would you like to hear a Christmas story? Of course! Oh, oh, oh very yeah. well. You see, met around 700 years ago, I had an owl bear named Rudolph. Now, Rudolph was no ordinary owl bear. He had a red nose that would glow. It was Rudolph the red beaked owl bear. Now, uh, I used him to pull my sleigh. However, it seemed that he was growing very powerful and seemed to overthrow me. So, I banished him to the darkest circle of hell. Happy story. Yeah. That's definitely one for the children. And Christmas oh. will save. Well, that's what we thought. But, the, some of my elves, I've heard rumors that they might be trying to summon him to wreak havoc on the 1,000th Christmas. Why would they do that? I don't know, but I need you to find out and put a stop to it. Well, you can definitely count on me and my companions here, sir. Um, uh, oh, sounds like that. Do you, do you have, happen to have uh, any information that could uh, help us in this matter? Hmm. All I know, well, right now, pretty much all of my gnomes are uh, here in the in the workshop. So perhaps you could find out some information from them. Uh, very good. Very good. And uh, providing that this uh, this all works out all right. Could this, uh, perhaps mean that I could be employed? Oh, absolutely! I'd love to have you in my employment. Fantastic! And a deal has been made. And he shoots the bells and makes his way out the door. Alright. Uh, I would just walk in just from the door and just be like, uh, excuse me, I've, um, I've got your turkey, sir. And you I have turkey. A, a beautifully prepared, beautifully stuffed, ginormous turkey. Like, whole butcher Where shop. Where are you turkey. keeping that? I got places, it's alright, don't you worry about it, I got places. You <laughs> his <laughs> turkey pockets. <laughs> I think he has like a special bag for his turkey, but, so I don't, I don't know. I've made this one, well I didn't make it up. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, want, I don't want to say found it either, that sounds wrong. But I've prepped it specially for you, sir. Oh, and thank you, what a lovely it. holiday gift. And he takes it and he like sets it on his desk and he's like playing with the beat. Ooh, who's a good turkey? Oh no, no, it's like, it's a butchered turkey, it's a beautifully stuffed. It what? Turkey. <laughs> it's not. It's not a living turkey. It's like, like, like you eat for Christmas, yeah. like a turkey. I don't. I don't think Travis would allow a turkey. <laughs> yeah, they. they <laughs> turkey died. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like cooked. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, no. this is like a. I'm, I'm it's uncooked. Yeah, yeah, it's no, like it's a, cooked, yeah. Oh, it's. No, is it cooked? No, it's not cooked, but it's prepped and ready to for cooking. Oh, it's, okay. It's going in an oven. But it's oh, okay. Beautifully wrapped. Oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'll take this to, uh, to the cooks and have them prepare it right away. He takes it and he starts walking out. 
He approaches, uh, yes, sir. So he goes out here. And, um, ah, sir, he gives I'm, it to... I'm glad to see you. Just wanted to let you know, in the last few minutes since we last spoke, I've been looking around and I've already found 23 ways to make this place more productive. Oh, really? And how's that? I believe I will go over these notes with you once oh. I've completed the main task. Just to let you know, sir, I'm straight on the case. Oh, thank oh, you. What a good oh, future well, employee. Not a problem. And also, this one here, I saw him slacking. Just want to let you know, you might want to give oh. some disciplinary action in. Oh, please don't slack or I'm going to put some coal in your stocking if you get my drift. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Sorry, Mr. Pringle. I want to get back to work. Oh, and uh, you can start by preparing this delicious bird. And uh, he hands him the turkey. Oh, oh that's a big turkey. Oh, all right. Oh, uh, I'll get right at it, sir. Just like buttering it or whatever yeah. to do the turkeys. I had the exact same thought. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go around the room listening for gnomes that might not be happy or might be grumbling about something. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go here and just try and eavesdrop on this like entire table. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm not eavesdropping, I just talk up and go, pick your friends here, there's better the kids here. I'm gonna, I'll join you over here and just try and listen in as well. Alright, make a perception check. Alright, so you can, so you listen to, you listen to the table and, uh, here. Oh, did you see the reindeer game the other night? Oh, yes I did! Yeah, the reindeer exploded like a, like a Pillsbury dough biscuit. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and, uh, there's like, it seems like they're just talking about, like, reindeer games. Uh, while that's going on, I step up to the one that I, uh, I, uh, got in a bit of trouble. And I, 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 I whisper to him, Now, look here. I could make your job very difficult, so if I was you, I'd listen to what I've got to say. And work with me on this. I want to know about any gnomes here that are genuinely looking to cause trouble. You help me out, and I'll put a good word in for you with the big man. Alright. Uh, make a intimidation check. Negative one. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> like, why would I listen to you? You're trying to get me in trouble. Yes, and here, how easy was that for him to believe? Oh, me! You should be on the naughty list. Who's to say I'm not? <laughs> is this what Dungeons and Dragons has become? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> you made it this way. Violence. It's fair. That's a good point. This is all my fault. Um. <laughs> Alright. Um. How about this? You give me the information I require, and I'll take care of that turkey for you. Make a persuasion check. I turn around sharply, hearing the word turkey at my <laughs> 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 Wildly. <laughs> while, the, while, the, while the gnome is, is looking at me, I put a hand like slightly up to like signal, <laughs> signal to Travis, say, like, "Be prepared." <laughs> All right, uh, my eyes are fixed. I'm like, I'm just there, like, just kind of like, okay. People are willing to do anything, but get ahead. Great. <laughs> How much have I going with? Did, did, did all 11 make any difference? No, he goes, well, I did ever hear Blinky talking about some of the, uh, the long hours leading up to the holidays. I see, and uh, which one is Blinky? And uh, he points to this one right this one right here. Thank you very much. I will, uh, once I uh, return, I will take care of that turkey for you. Oh, thank you! Jerk! Frederick. Did he gobble? He did. <laughs> I distinctly heard one. Right. Perhaps well, he's making his, uh, wait a well, he's moment. making his way over there. Oh, okay. I mean, I've been told that he's basically a turkey, so I'm going to walk around. Can I do an investigation check to see if he is, in fact, a turkey? <laughs> 
sure. I took the last mistake. Rolls natural one. Rolls natural one. Just, 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 just. That is so bad. Opening my hand. Wow. But I've been. I'm. I'm. You are bad opening there, right there. Nineteen. Oh, okay. Does it look like a turkey to you? I'm watching too. <laughs> I was like, do you have many level workers here? <laughs> what? I'll just go to Mr. Fungo. Do you have many level workers here? Oh, leather workers! Of course! <laughs> We're always looking to make shoes and uh, whips for the cows so we can make more leather. <laughs> uh, uh, kind of good then. Uh, probably need extra hand, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Well, if you can find out, if you can put a stop to the to the rumors of a conspiracy, then you are more than welcome to join the team. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, do you know where these rumors start? I imagine somewhere here in the workshop among the gnomes. Alright. Thank you, sir. Good work! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, question. The DM. Uh, what was the name of this gnome again? Blinky. Blinky. Ah, yes. Here they are. I understand your name is Blinky. Is that correct? Oh, yes, indeed! Excellent. My name is Frederick Fizzlewiz. Absolute pleasure to meet you. Uh, I was uh, inquiring. Uh, I hear that there is some. Uh, uh, what is the way to say? Uh, it's a bit of uh, grumbling as it were, that uh, the hours might be a little bit too long, and I'll just go around and get any opinions of uh, the gnomes. I just want to know your thoughts on it. Uh, I've been sitting here making toy train after toy train. I don't even know what a train is, but it's been long hours. Uh, I've been sitting here. I haven't been able to see my family in weeks because of this stupid Christmas. And at this point, uh, Frederick kind of sort of sways a little bit on the spot, and there's just this sort of very happy look on his face. It's sort of like he just heard like his dream come true. Oh, you know, that, that, that's uh, t t t t uh, terrible. That's uh, absolutely awful. Uh, if, I, if I was you, I, I'd probably want to do something about it. Oh, indeed. Uh, uh. He kind of looks around. Cause... You with the revolution? Well, viva la resistance, as they say. Come with me! He, like, leads you outside. Listen, you heard that uh, uh, we are trying to summon Rudolph. Yeah, uh, they used to have an owlbear named Rudolph, but he banished him. And, uh, he's... The legend says that he knew a secret about the 1,000th Christmas, so we're hoping to bring him back to see what that secret is. Oh, fascinating. Fascinating. How far have you managed to get so far? Uh, you already have some gnomes up on Mount Crumpet that are, we're trying to summon him right now, actually. Oh, fantastic. Right, well, I shall, uh, I shall go and uh, see if I can offer my assistance to it. I'll just let you know. The others, they uh, are very good at acting. They wouldn't, uh, they won't give me a giving the game away, but rest assured, they are part of the resistance as well. I shall take them with me. We have some rather skilled, uh, companions here. Do, would you, would you, would you believe that we have the world's greatest tosser? <laughs> 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 this is where I should have one of those items where it's dexterity throwing item. <laughs> and we, are, we we also we also have a gnome that can take out a child from twenty pieces in one hit. Scary. <laughs> so you say a persuasion check. Uh, deception. Deception. So deception. Uh, oh, not bad. bad. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, very well! I'm sure they could use the help! Excellent. I shall go and, uh, gather them up and, uh, make haste. Uh, Long live the owlbear. Yes! Thank you! He goes back to working on his little trains. 
Ah, oh, yes. Uh, good, good bit of fresh air out there. Um, hmm. Party members, I believe we should be probably making our way out, doing a little bit more investigating. Did I did I hear anything from my eavesdropping of this table? Uh, you did not. Cool. And yes, I'll just go What's straight outside. What's eavesdrop on this table? As I walk past the one that was outside for a while, I'm just going to walk past and just go gobble gobble, gobble gobble, and see if they do Are you anything. okay? Are you okay, sir? Alright. I walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody come over here, quick. Now, apart from finding out the, they've got the, probably the most perfect work conditions I've ever heard of, there is definitely something Ooh. afoot. It would seem that on Mount. Um, Crap. What was the name of the place, Jay? Mount Crumpet. Thank you. On uh, the Mount Crumpet, there appears to be several Ooh. gnomes up there, part of a, a resistance, as they call them. Uh, unionized, most likely. Uh, there they're going to try to summon the owlbear as we speak. I suggest we make haste and put a stop to it. Quick question. So, Does anyone know where Mount Crumpet is? They will go in and ask. I'm sure they will. I feel like I might as well. Oh, there, there's a giant mountain in front of you, so... I'm assuming that's it. <laughs> yeah, there's a snake mountain here. <laughs> it's that one. Ah, yes, I believe the tosser is correct. Let us go. I have a name. I know, for fuck's sake. Guys! Beware of turkeys that live at the bottom of the I'm mountain. Gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna... One second, guys. And I'm gonna go back in and grab the first gnome I see, point him to the window and be like, is that Mount Crumpet? Oh, yes, it's definitely Mount Crumpet. Good. I didn't ask you anything. <laughs> oh, okay. And then I turn him and put him back in his seat and walk outside. He <laughs> picks him up. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. That is Mount Crumpet. Um, oh, nobody has any, what the? any idea that I was asking anything. So, we're good. And I pull out my hip flask and I take another sip. You know, you walked. I'm guessing you walked into the room, picked up a gnome. Got no idea what you're talking about. Yep. Saw so his face out the window. So, as you make your way to the top of the mountain, you Can I see, see any pebbles on my way there. It's a mountain, yeah. You 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 find a couple of pebbles. I'm gonna I'll stick a couple pebbles, pebbles in my pocket. Just okay, four pebbles, nice. I'm sticking them in my pocket for later. In case of four children. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you get to the top of the mountain, and you see there are seven gnomes surrounding a big rock. And uh, Which did they have their? Are you coming up from? So you're coming up from this direction here. Okay. If you want to go ahead and drag your guys on there. Yeah. And you can hear they have their hands placed on the rocks, and you can hear them uh, chanting. La 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 And uh, this area right here is like starting to glow. Well, I will do scouting run to make sure they have no hidden friends. I I go I I go up to I sidle up to Travis and I just whisper in his ear. Don't. Don't they all weirdly like turkeys? <laughs> I suddenly slap my back up again. I assume this is like a step so I can hide behind this rock here kind of deal? <laughs> Could I try and hide my way into there? I uh, make a stealth check. Six. Six. Yeah, this one right here turns and spots you. Goes, ah, who are you? As soon as he makes that sound of ah, I assume it's a gobble, and I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and roll the hit. Come on. Uh... Eight. Yeah, it misses. <laughs> I suppose it's too late for you reindeer to go and see if there's anybody else there. 
Yes, I, I think it is too late now. We may have another right. presence. Let's I, figure I, I, I just I just cower back behind the rock and just go. Turkeys! I think so. <laughs> Alright, everybody roll for initiative. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So who's that? That is reindeer. Uh you're up. Um I wish to jump in the air and fly to thirty feet above this area, because I'm a flying gnome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I wish to cast uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to go into Constellation of the Archer while I remember. Awesome. And then I'm gonna use Thorn Whip on Dude. Okay. He's not been identified as a turkey. Might not be on our <laughs> Travis's threat radar at the moment. <laughs> I'm all over the place, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, that will hit. Go for damage. Really good. Uh... How, wait, how far away are you from the gnome? I'm mm -hmm. 30 feet. Okay. Uh, Alright. And then he gets dragged. Yeah, oh, hang on, I'll move. I'll move him. I'm flying right here. And uh, I would. Um, oh. He gets dragged by Thorn Whip 10 feet towards me. So in All right. Uh, as you do it, the thorns uh, dig into his throat, and uh, blood is gushing everywhere, and he goes limp. Okay, well. Cool, I'll uh, carry on flying. That's that beautiful scene. Victory. All right. Next up is uh, charcoal, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying so, to. I'm trying to put pictures with people. Are we doing yeah. movement as the arrow flies, or <laughs> by square? By square. Cool, so I've got. I'm not quite going to be able to reach. Oh, so that's for five. 10, 15, 25, over there, 30. And then as an action, and then I'll, I'll enter, I'll use dodge as my action. And I'll enter a defensive right. stance. And that's better. All right. Travis. Uh, so the, the arrow tool is you'll see, you've got arrow, paintbrush, um, magnifying glass, and then there's a ruler, so you just click, and then you can crack that. Sweet, thank you. Yeah. But each, each square is five foot, so... I'm gonna move... over here. And fire my crossbow... at this guy's over here again, this guy, but he's in it. He's in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, your hands, hands are shaking. Your hands yeah, are shaking. Yeah, man. Like hits, the, like hits the ground right at his feet. Turkey norm flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, man. We're there. <laughs> um, uh, uh, oh, actually, actually, what I should have done, but what I will do now, because it is a bonus action. Which you must hear in the range. I'm going to Hunter's Mark this bastard. Alright. So... He's... Wait, are you, are you a ranger? Yeah, I am. That's awesome. Let's see, Hunter's Mark... Yeah, that'll work. Cool. So, he's Mark, he's Hunter's Mark. And he faced me, there's nothing until my next turn, but anyway. But yeah, that's my turn. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> next up is, uh... Tra not Travis, Frederick. Okay, so uh, I've got 25 feet movement speed, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5. Move along here. And I <clears throat> am going to do. Uh, I'm going to create an Eldritch, ca uh, Eldritch Cannon. Uh, it's going to. Uh, it's going to look like a pretty standard cannon, except it's going to have a set of four legs. So if I can just right. have some random token JSON just to pop up uh, in front of me. You can probably uh, just type in cannon. I imagine they've got that in the art, right? Yeah, but also the thing yeah, is, though, is I don't have any of the 
I don't have a subscription to anything. You don't need it. There are free ones. Free after. Oh, okay. You can yeah, go free yeah. from the web, and there'll be a bunch. Cannon from the web. Uh. Okay. There you go. Huh. Uh, oh, you're over here. Can I control huh. this? Uh, one second. You can now. Sweet. Right. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, which, which cannon form are you doing? Uh, I am going to go with the flamethrower. Yes. Awesome. Make them warm for the rest of their lives. <laughs> uh, just to let you know, Jason uh, has an AC of 18. And its hit points are equal to five times my artificial level, so that is 15. 15 hit points. Uh, I'm gonna use that as my move, and I believe I can activate it on a, as a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, or do I? Can I only? Yeah, yeah, can I do that on my? Do I have to do that on my next turn? Or could do it on the same turn that I created. You should be able to do it now because summoning it's an action. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Cool. Uh, what was this AC again, Crafty? Sorry. 18. 18. 18 AC, okay. Yeah. AC 18 and then 15 hit points, okay. Uh, crafting, just, just as a thought, did you remember to apply your infusions to your stuff? I have not. So you chose plus one to AC and plus one to damage, right, on your weapon? Uh, yes, I believe so. So that's, that's not too hard to fix, so you could just add that in. So, after, what was that, cantrip? No, so, uh, that was your your artificial infusions. Right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm yeah, so first I'm, first time I've ever played Dark Fizz, so I'm still a bit still. A bit so bit. the infusions are like a passive thing that artificers get. Um, so yeah, when you take a long rest, you can like activate them. Oh. But because we, so you would have had one before the game started, basically. The basic one is plus one to your armor that you've equipped, and to plus one AC and plus one damage to whatever weapon you're wielding. Okay, sweet. Uh, right. Well, in the meantime, right. So, part of my, as part of my bonus action, I can uh, instruct the cannon to move, can go up to 15 feet. So, I'm just going to get to move up a space here, and I'm going to have it fire uh, at this fella. It needs All to right. make a dexterity saving throw. All right. One second. All right. Dexterity saving throw. Succeeds. Damn. Has next uh, so it's uh, so it takes two yeah two dd two d eight fire damage and half as much on a successful one. So, I rolled seven. So it takes three damage. Okay. Three. Okay. Hey. <laughs> so it engulfs him in flames, and he's now on the ground. He is barely alive. He's like crumbling, entirely soot covered, like his skin is like completely black, just like crumbling, it is horrible looking. It's like out of something out of a horror movie. <laughs> you you hear um you hear di uh, charcoal chuckle a little bit. <laughs> he, he's pretty much charcoal at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, good show. Great roast turkey, Frederick. Alright, and, uh, oh yeah, he's also prone. What's a, what can I do for prone? Uh, sure, why not? Prone. Alright. Alright, and so now it falls to... My I think? Yep. Yes. Yes. Net it here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm taking him down. Tosser, it's on you. Finish him. <laughs> Finish him. Go with my 25 foot meat. <laughs> <laughs> this poor one guy. Are we doing once again? Are we doing? Are we doing by square or as the crow flies? Because by we're square. Doing different things at the moment. He can still get to that spot. That spot. Can he? With five squares. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he can. Left one diagonally up. <laughs> yeah. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
like five feet of the All right. I'm gonna grab my steam turrets and I think they just grab them. Oh yeah, that is... Don't even bother rolling for damage. He has one hit <laughs> point left. <laughs> he's just going to see if he's there. Just going... <laughs> and he's just like... He's now! <laughs> oh, he's dead! He's yeah. dead now! He's very... He is extremely dead. Go check a pulse. Yep, yeah, he's definitely dead! Now oh, he's dead! Alright. I can't move anywhere. It's the sad thing about choosing a small first. Can't move anywhere. I think we all have 25 foot face movement. I have I have 35 because monk. Other than that. Oh well, I have 50 in the air if we're going there. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> all chose small people are a pig. Wow, no gnomes and their flight speed. Am I right? Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the same speed as a gnome on the ground. I must be a gnome. <laughs> All right, so as uh, the gnomes, they see you um, the murder, brutally murder two of their friends, they are, all of them are going to take the dash action and scramble down the mountain. So. I just want to hit something, guys. But <laughs> as, as they scramble down the mountain, the light is getting brighter and brighter. When out of it, you see, in any second now. <laughs> I swear to God, it's out there it. with a red beak. <laughs> Whoa! That's true. You that's know good. what I see when I see that beak. <laughs> 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 oh no! <laughs> it is. The turkey king. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have him take the gnomes, uh, go on the gnomes turn, so I have to rework this turn order thing. Sure. He's going to say, uh, Are you the ones who rescued me? Yes, we have rescued you. Oh. Thank you. Wait, so are we out of turn order? Because I'm seeing a deep thing that just blew out of a pool. <laughs> and I'm already on edge. <laughs> yeah, he goes, Oh, so thank you so really much! Nervous. Thank you for freeing me! Immediately. We, we must stop Mr. Kringle! What? what? Why? What is that? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, a secret! See? He's going to kill everyone! Or maybe not everyone, but a great many people! How? Damn you, Dougie! Oh. <laughs> Can I? Okay. Can not Wait, 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 wait. I'm a monk. I have an ability called Deflect Missiles. Can I attempt to catch the arrow? Yes. You are basically in front of me. Yeah, so... I mean, you need to roll. You need to roll damage, and then if you roll, if I roll better than the damage that you do, I okay. can catch it. All right. Does you have to roll the hit first? You have to roll the hit first, I guess. But yeah, yeah but I would be catching hit. whether you did it or not. Whether you, uh, I mean, taking nine. Nine damage. I don't know. Cool. Oh, so, all right. all right, all right. So now I roll a d10, and it's a d10 plus my dex modifier plus my monk level. So I need to roll a four or higher to catch it. Let's go, D plate missiles. No, I need to roll a three or higher if it's a nine. So I need to roll a three or higher on a D ten. Roll anything other than a two and a one. I promise this. Eight. Hey. So using my reaction, I like just catch it in midair. Okay. Did you just shoot at me? Uh, don't worry oh, about him. He has issues. He yeah, oh. doesn't understand I what you really are. are. He's not a turkey. Thomas, all the all the turkeys are dead. They're all dead. What? The turkeys are dead. You have one for now, Travis. All turkeys are dead. So. And I'm, I'm, me. I, I, are we out of turn order now? Yeah, I'll see. You're, uh, yeah, I'll see you're out of turn order. I'm, I'm gonna walk over over to him, and I'm just gonna hand him his crossbow bolt, and then just point the crossbow so it's pointing at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how, what kind of proof do you have to, to murder everyone? It's not a turkey, it's a bear. Uh, you see? 
Before You're I was right. mad. They're not turkeys. <laughs> Did they gonna hurt me? No. Okay. See, before I was banished, I overheard Mr. Kringle talking with Mrs. Kringle that he was going to build up a reputation of for a thousand years to build people's trust. And then on the 1000th Christmas, he would deliver Gifarath fireballs to people of nobility and the people in positions of power. And then he would step in and take over when there was a void to fill of leadership. Huh. Is to remove the, the bourgeoisie. Um, and he um, imprisoned you because of that? Yes, he was scared that I was going to tell people. Okay. How much? I don't know how much I can believe you. Is anybody able to tell if he's lying? Can I, can I um, make an insight I'm check? I'm, all yes, I'm, I'm, I'm inside him this motherfucker because I still think he's a turkey. I, I would also I would like inside. I would also like to. Yeah, everyone's inside. rolling inside, okay. No, no, what I believe him. Your yeah, plus five for insight? Fuck me, no, what's no. your wisdom, dude? He's extremely <laughs> paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 15. Half of, that, half of that check is going on to work out if he's a turkey or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll happily take the 17, to be honest. Because I'm more concerned about him being a turkey than being a liar. <laughs> <laughs> with my 15, I'm checking to see if he's a liar. Okay. I'm doing that as well with my inside, but I obviously got a 9, so... I just flat out believe him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Travis, you, uh, you know, you're really skeptical of him, but this turkey, which you think might be possibly as a turkey, he seems to be telling the truth. Uh, same with Charcoal. Frederick and Milo, you're not 100% sure if he's telling the truth or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I'm not sure if I believe this. I'm not quite sure. I don't have any really hard proof. What could you... What could you possibly do or say that could be 100% guaranteed proof of this? Why... Why don't we confront Mr. Kringle? Yes, I'm gonna walk up to Just leave my this... Family. Leave this thing here. Right, what I'm going to say is that he's going to 100% deny all of the claims. Yes, but with your powers of character recognition and the ability to tell if people are lying, you can now, find out. Now, now, guys, I don't want to have my own personal bias kind of dictate how we feel about Mr. Kringle, but it is because of him that I've been stuck in a mine collecting coal for most of my life. Yes, he's fat. Like a despotic overlord. We should deal with him. I, 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 I walk know. up to the owlbear and go, are you telling me? Hold up, you need to get I'm right. <laughs> what it was. You say that in character. <laughs> yep, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> the PTSD's got so real for him now. It's so identity it disassociation. It. Are you telling me you're not a turkey? <laughs> Oh, I'm an owl bear. He's telling the truth, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's <just> gobbled. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I, 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 I said, I, this, I point you here I, is a long I point, distance gobble. I point directly at Milo. He gobbled. He's a turkey. Hang on, hang on. As I'll say, our character in the long distance, all you hear is a turkey going. Oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> That's why I'm just hanging, but no one here can see that. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're now a party of, we're a party of four now. What am I, Don't uh, split the party! <laughs> I'm gonna find his body, like, pecked to death in the woods later. <laughs> I, I, I just a, he's, he's found and fought a sea of turkeys somehow. Yeah, there's and... like, a, like a mountain of dead turkeys underneath his corpse. <laughs> Alright, so how gonna... the way he would have wanted to live. <laughs> I, will okay. like say, oh, I will like to say that I took the feet horde breaker for that exact reason. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, who is who is who is um played God of War? I haven't, but I want to. You Not know the bit while. where you know the bit where um he go like uh Christos goes into the light and then comes out again. 
and yeah. it's his son's basically just been fighting yeah. elves, and there's just yeah. piles yeah, of corpses that'd, that'd everywhere. Be, that'd be him. That would be. That's totally how I imagine it. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> as, as, as much as I had my reservations about our uh, turkey hunter here, I will say I will go believe what if Charcoal says he's telling the truth. I will. I will accept that. Just let you uh, know now. If this turns out to be bunk, I I will never forgive you for losing me at such a pristine position position with Mr. Crinkle. Now, oh, my friend, are, my, yeah. Fred, Frederick, do you mind if I call you Fred? Frederick, F please. Dog. I kill. My, F my, dog. My bro, cool. My bro. Uh, all right, left dog. Um, think of it this way: if Santa is the problem. And we take him out. You can replace him, and run the factory however you want to. Yes, we will seize the means of production uh, for you. Let's go, go, my friends. Make <laughs> it. Make it. I'm trying to do that. I'll go to the elbow. Go. So, what does his wife think about the plan? I, I run off to Fred. I and don't you know, believe that she's I'll, I'll one hundred well, percent in well, on it. She wants to be queen of the land, so oh, I do right. believe she's in on it. I guess you staying here. I guess. I actually heard. Oh, I must come with you. Of of a, oh, a bar okay. that, that Mrs. Kringle fucked on the side, so maybe she's moving on. <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, just his elbow <laughs> into the house. A gnome. Yep. We must yep, stop, right. Mr. Kringle. Down the mountain we go. And as he steps out of the... As he steps out of the, uh, circle, uh, the light appears again. He goes, Wait! Oh! Oh, no! And, uh... Oh, and he back. disappears. That uh, seems to have something they didn't work fully because he stopped them. No, it was bad somebody spell. It was not our interdiction. What are you standing uh, around for? Move! I, I, I chase Fred. Uh, no doubt. Alright. So as you head back down the mountain, uh, you come back to the workshop. It's all good. Yeah, so I'll be up I was like, confused, like, everyone's seen this but me, but huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just assumed it was going to be changed in a second. But yeah, no, no, it's all good. All right, yeah, I, I, I slowly open the door, and then it's kicked in beside me. I would like to kick in the door and step inside, yeah. Comrades, we have heard from the great prophet, the Rudolph the Elbear. <laughs> he <has laughs> told us of Santa's treachery. He wishes to kill all of you and your families. Um, this one that I wasn't sure wasn't a turkey before, I'm going to shoot him in the face straight away as soon as I burst in. <laughs> I'm going to stop him as I see his rage is bar, but I just smack it down on the ground. It's like, stop it! Are you actually doing that or let me shoot him? No, I'm smacking your bow out your hands. <laughs> it's gotta be a contested check here, right? It's gotta be a contested yeah. check. Yeah, okay. yeah do it uh, do a dexterity check, both of you. Hang on, give me my dexterity uh, check. You have to beat 21. 17. <laughs> oh. Nope. Alright, Travis, roll the hit. I feel like they're gonna get conflicting <laughs> messages. Yeah! No, 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 they have no, to no, save wait, wait, you and wait, hit. Wait, wait, Go wait, for wait. damage. I hit it down after he took the shot. It's like he took the shot. Bang! <laughs> yep. It was and not it, enough. It, yep. it, it goes. It sticks straight in his forehead, and he falls down dead. There's no gnomes left. They all ran out. <laughs> <laughs> and remember who is real enemy here? We must kill a fat turkey man. Move it to the, the, the door. He's no yeah, I wish to kick in this door as well. Alright, kick your. No longer, sir. Crinkle is now fat man. Once again, I'm like attempting to slowly push open the door and it gets kicked beside me. <laughs> <laughs> the slow creaking of. Ah! Oh, yeah, you managed to <laughs> kick the door open. You walk You're in reaching, and. You don't... Yeah, you don't see Mr. Kringle in there. Hello! What do we see him there? Um, there are, you see his desk, and there's some windows, and out the windows you see, um, a sleigh. And, uh, you see him, he's loading presents onto it. 
I go running up. And I stop All right. about here. Okay. Mr. Kringle, sir. We have returned. Oh, oh you're back. Yes, sir. Uh, the Alvear uh, has not been summoned. It's, uh, it was unsuccessful. Oh, well, that's very good. I'm so glad. Yes, sir. Can I make a perception check also? I just want, I don't want to be like investigating in the sleigh, but can I just see if I can see? Because he said it was going to be like fire bombs or whatever. Can I see if any evidence of that just by looking at it? Uh, sure. I'll say make an investigation check. Eight. Yeah, nothing that you can see. Can I attempt to make an insight check on Santa to see how he feels about the the Albert being dumped? Okay. No, I have no idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get a read on this guy. <laughs> Gosh, damn it, Santa! As Mr. Kringle, as uh, as per our, uh, our deal. I, uh, I believe that, uh, you need to uphold your end and employ me. Oh, of course. <laughs> Welcome to the team. When I get back from my trip, I will be sure to show you to your new station. <laughs> and I will be greatly honored on that. But, uh, Mr. Kringle, I'm curious, uh, what, what sort of presents uh, do you, have you got in store for this, for this uh, festive season? Oh, I get letters from boys and girls all across the land. They ask for dollies and teddy bears and trains, just all sorts of things. Well, they did not answer the question, though. Sorry? I was um, speaking in Frederick's ear, pardon. He did not answer his question. He said that's what they ask for, not what presents he's giving. Yes, quite right, oh. quite right, reindeer. And, and sir, uh, I beg your, I beg your pardon, but that's not exactly what I asked. I, I asked oh. well, what, what, what have you managed to uh, create for this year's festive season? Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, we we try to fulfill every request from every boys and girls. So, if a boy and girl asks for a toy train, we give them a toy train. Uh, sometimes we can't really give them something, so if they ask for peace on Earth, uh, we give them a nice little peace sign keychain. Sometimes it's the best that we can do. Can I make another insight check on yeah, that statement? Key. Is he lying about that? About the yeah. keychain? About about the fact he gives them what they well, he's giving them what they asked for. Yeah, can I do insight as well on that one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm just gonna try <laughs> not to hey, yeah. I have plus four and got seven. Hey, <laughs> and I got eight. I have one more than you. Oh my goodness. Christ. I got stand up and look at him like, Yeah, sure, cool, I believe you. Thing <laughs> 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 is, it's like, like Charcoal believes. I, I got He's double also digit. standing in front of Crinkle going, Yep, I also believe in this man. I'm not saying I believe him, but I, I, I can't get a read on him. It's a very different vibe. Uh, what about Reindeer? He got a uh, 13. I got a double digit. I oh, I didn't one, see like, that. Um, I mean, you it seems like he's telling uh, the truth, but perhaps maybe not the whole truth. Uh, kind of, I, I lean forward and I whisper in, in Fred's ear. I'm like, I think this may not be the time for beating around the bush. So let's hear what Reindeer has to say. Mr. Kringle, you have uh, worked very hard all year. Why not let us deliver presents for you this year? Oh, yes, I concur. <laughs> that, that, it, take, put your feet up. You obviously work very hard. And it shows how dedicated we are to your employer. Your other norms, they are pathetic. They have left workshop already without your oversight. 
Um, I'm sorry, but this, uh, this is for the 1,000th Christmas. It's very, very important. And perhaps we come with you in case people wish to stop 1,000th Christmas. Protect you. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that I don't have any more room on my sled. Ah, well, you're in luck. This, this I, fine specimen a of a gnome here. Yes, he can fly. He could carry you, one or two of us, with him. I'm afraid I'm going to have to say no. Well, I'm afraid that we are going to have to say yes. And I will level my crossbow meaningfully. I hope that the others also do. And I, 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 summon, I, summon, I summon my I'm Eldritch take a, cannon. Can I take a couple steps forward? I'll probably grab one of the seven. I'm gonna walk towards right. the back. Grab the other one. And I wanna start yeah. investigating the back. Like, I wanna open a present. I wanna see what's inside. As he's doing now, I'm going to. Step away from the. As he's doing now, I'm going to pull up the wagon. You know, I'm up cutting off the angle from him from the dancing with both my sabotage. <laughs> Alright. So, no, just, um, just a second. Off. Could I have my uh, cannon, please? Uh, yeah, give me one second. Yeah, yeah. Is this a different form? Yeah. Uh, no, it's the same one on legs. No, I think you meant objects. Are you doing uh, protect, uh, flamethrower, or ballista? Yes, say as it's the same. Yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah. Flame yeah crap, you just said yeah, the yeah. same. Yeah. Because you would always have it on legs. Why would you not have it on legs? It moves around. <laughs> there you go. All right. Controlled by. Which one are you? You're Frederick. Okay. Yep. There you go. And as you go to investigate the uh, the sled, he says, I said stop! He stomps his foot on the ground and ice erupts from his feet and covers the surface with a thick layer. Um, everybody make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Those are within the circle or just everybody? Oh, everyone that's within the circle, right. so... Would you count those half in as in? Yes. Yeah, because you're, you're in. Alright, Milo, so, you are <laughs> prone. Okay. 24. 24, alright, you are good. Damn right. 21. Alright, and Char so Charcoal's good, Milo's prone, and... Oh, I, I see you now, okay. You're good, so Milo's the only one that's prone. Everyone roll initiative. Oh, you'll need to put the... Um, oh, you yeah, can't... you'll need to clear it. Or it's gonna... How do I clear it? There should well, be... Oh, remove all all there we go. Yeah, it'll do like multiple There you go. Yeah. Cool. Roll height. 15. It's not awful. Natural 20! Oh, Two doing? natural 20s! And this is... counts as difficult terrain. So... Uh, you ha have to use half your movement speed to get across it. I believe that's how it works. Um, because I hope I know what I'm going to do anyway. So I'm just going to go hunt his mark. I'm going to hunt his mark, his ass. Alrighty. <laughs> and then I'm going to go. That's taunting system. I'm just going to move. That'll be 15. I'm just going to move over to here just to move it up a little bit. And then I'll fire. Alright, roll a hit. It does indeed hit. That it do, Jesus. Yeah, if it didn't, we were in trouble. That would mean I have to either roll a 19 or crit. Yeah. If it didn't hit, I'd have to roll a crit in order to hit. So. Alright, it sticks right into his leg. Oh! I don't know what that sound was, I apologize. Our PTSD is getting real bad. If only someone had been a wizard with their phantom sound. No. <laughs> See, my, I thought you were going to be like, if only been someone had been a cleric to like heal him of this, but you're like, I've no, only had the wizard to make it worse. I could probably make that gobble sound effect with druid crafts. So. Yes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's All right. 
All right. Um, now it's the tall gnome. I would time. like to um, jump into the sleigh. Okay. Uh, is there any noticeable way of flying it? Flying the sleigh? Yeah, I want to steal Santa's sleigh. Uh, no. Well, I mean, you can try. You can fly, so you can try to pick it up if you want. Uh, no. I'm going to make a judgment. Did you forget? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. oh, yeah, I have wings. What am I doing? What I will do is, uh, if you can so I'd like to fly myself. I'll take, um, one of the Saxon friends. Okay. Uh, that we yeah. don't have. Uh, and I, I mean, I'm gonna drop it. Alright. So, um, okay. Um, uh, one second. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize. One second. I am doing the. Sounds like a tree. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. So you drop it on Santa or on Mr. Kringle. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh my god, what have you done? What have you done? Uh, what have you done? Maybe you have a season. Oh my. Everybody make a dexterity uh, saving throw. What's, what's the range on it? Is it 30 foot radius? 20 foot radius. Yeah, okay. It is literally fireball, isn't it? It's literally fireball. Oh god. Seven. I got seven. Seven. <laughs> I got 24 earlier. Oh, seven. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> no. One second, hang on, let me check something here. Uh, <laughs> you're, uh, just a couple. Nice message. Uh, hey, I'm full of the air. So oh, okay, right. so. Okay, you knew it I don't. Oh, no. Okay, so. My. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I may have forgotten that it was a 30 foot radius, not 30 foot diameter, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> Whoa! I'm, I'm mean? unconscious. That takes me straight to unconscious. That's my entire health. <laughs> oh. Uh, I put it as 15 DC save. So is that only half? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you only take half. Yeah, so uh, Travis and uh, Frederick, you take. Uh, you know, yeah, Travis and Frederick takes 24 fire damage. No, 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 excuse me. Travis and Frederick, you take 12. And then Milo and Charcoal takes 24 fire damage. Right, so. And oh, he's got to make a saving throw as well. <laughs> it's, it's not your turn yet. You, you, yeah. No, it's uh, on your turn. It no. says on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. He is going oh, to. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he takes. Most of the party to deal a little bit of damage. Hang on, hang on. Okay. I'm the fourth. I'm at the back. I'd like to see it. We gained. 
I know, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'd like to engage form of the bell, um, with my... I'm still alive! And I'm going to cast Healing Word on the charcoal. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm on five. I'm on zero now. Yeah, so charcoal might be slightly... I will say... Yes, I, I accept that. You're the picture number one is the turn of the picture. So, I don't know about that. But, you're up. But, <laughs> I'm on five hit points. As the reaction, I'm going to fall down. I can heal you another one here. Close. That is another six. <laughs> I'm on eleven. She's a little bit more than you were on to him. I'm back to me later. I hope you like me. I hope you like me. Fuck you! I'm gonna fly a little bit further away from this. Just to fly to the area, you can be like, Thank you for confirming, but you also have such a shit! Fuck you. Alright. I'm gonna check this. That's your vibe, but I was... <laughs> <laughs> my original battery! My original battery was too! So it's not a... It was a 2D, so it's the fucking... Drop it in and then it's 2D. Is it my turn now? <laughs> I'll see you! Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, so, <laughs> so um, Charcoal is gonna like, he's like on the floor. He's like, oh, yeah, I feel you, buddy. And he's gonna roll over, stand up, sit there halfway through. And then, you know the way they like draw like black lines on their faces. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but it's actually like. Soot the fireball, it's like I'm like, cleaning two lines off my face. So it's like completely black. It's like two lines, like cleaning it off. It's like little patches of my pipe. Like, 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 I will just have enough movement to get to Santa. So I'm gonna do that. Um, are you drinking? Are you doing, doing potion for his friends? It's an action for friends. I'll say it's a bonus action. So I'm also gonna crack a. Six or like halfway down the tunnel. Yeah, I'm gonna use the potion again. So that's two and four plus two. So I heal 9 more, so I'm back up to 20 ladies and gentlemen. And then I'm going to smack Sandy from across the face with my, um... Okay. 24. Where was that wrong? Where was that? Uh, 5 on Hey, sorry. Alright, you smack him right across the face. Ah, my... That's my turn. Yeah, you already, already been unconscious, and he, he hasn't even made an attack yet. <laughs> All right. I don't know why. He, he did. He absolutely I did. Up. He made that fire. This all seems very. The, the idea of you like flying ahead and Santa, but it just seems very cartoon of like Santa looking up as you drop a fireball on his face. <laughs> and if oh no. Pause. If he was real, if he was real Santa, then he would have been poisoned. That's much less. Uh, I am but going yes. to cast Sanctuary on Charcoal. Oh, what a hero. <laughs> uh, that's actually as a bonus action. Uh, then uh, I am going to move over this way. And uh, that's going to be my turn. 
All right. You could have fired your cannon. Uh, moving the cannon. Uh, moving the cannon is the bonus action. And it's a <clears throat> flamethrower. Yes. I believe where you're standing. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> From my experience with um, AOE fire. fire. Oh, yeah, fire. No. It's not meant to be taking fire to the face for the second time, I swear. So you said a you'll be using a bonus action. Mm hmm. Is it my turn now? It is. Cool. I'll be, t I'll be eating that for me. 2d4. Oh, seven. Now, Mr. Kringle, he is going to, yeah, he's going to let out a huge laugh. <laughs> now, everybody make a wisdom saving throw. No. Is that I rolled? No, it's not it's frightening. Not frightening. Yeah. It's not frightening. That's not that. Alright, so charcoal, 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 and oh, my, 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 my. So now charcoal Frederick and Milo, you are now all sharp. Oh, oh, wait, what was the DC? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it, the DC was I thirteen. Oh. Ah, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna lose lucky. You rolled that for one. Yes. <laughs> I rolled an actual one, I have money. I must use the new roll. <laughs> Here comes the second net one. I oh. you. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, lucky and crunch! Milo is not charmed, however. Only uh, I am charmed. And me. I'll be like, oh, whoa, whoa, fuck you, guys. I'm charmed. Thanks for that, you guys. Um, this guy. Yeah, okay. So you oh. are charmed as well. <coughs> right. I you just now, I was like, I have lucky, I have lucky, I'm gonna be rolled. <laughs> so, that is going to be his turn. Uh, Travis. Well, not being charmed. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I've got one. Yep. Fuck it! Please, I have one. Yeah, I'm... I'm just gonna leave my last thing. Oh. So he's the part. Which one? Alright, as you go, as you go to shoot him, your um, crossbow jams. Um, yeah, so your crossbow is jammed. Okay. Oh my god, damn turkey blood! <laughs> <laughs> Now it falls to uh, reindeer. Um, oh, another fireball. No, I, I, I don't have I'm going to Put the first number that does yeah. not get. That's fine. Um, that's 20 foot. I'm gonna fly. I mean, I will pick up the number. Uh, I'm 
Okay, oh, yeah. I was gonna think. Turn. Alright. So, um, Charcoal, seeing that they are attacking your uh, your new friend, you are going to go up here, and I want you to make an attack roll against Milo. Cool. Is this with my quarter staff or with my fist? Uh, quarter staff. Two uh, handed, obviously. Twelve. Misses. All right. So uh, Milo manages to duck out of the way. Uh, I, I, I also have bonus action. Punch it. Careful. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, go ahead. Oh, ahead. Uh, uh, thanks. That was it. I'm as used to this. I'm just like, don't drink my booze. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> fight. Will you all hurt? Right. Give it. So now, Charcoal, make another uh, dexterity. Uh, excuse me, wisdom saving. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, you are still charmed. You are infatuated with Mr. Kringle. <laughs> I, I have a question for the DM. Um, so, as we're charmed, do you actually have control over us, or is it a case that we just. We can't attack. We can't attack you. That the person you that see, charmed us. If I remember correctly, charm works as you see the person that charmed you as a friend, mm -hmm. and seeing that these seeing these people attacking your friend, you're going to come to his defense. Perfect. So it's, it's All right then. The then I know what I'm going to do. Oh no, boy. Right. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't kill me. <laughs> oh, I think I think it involves the wagon. <laughs> ah! Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of that pesky halfling for you. Eldritch Cannon, move forward and fire upon the slave. Take out that halfling. Oh my god. The Wait, the slave? The Eldritch Cannon moves forward and fires flamethrowers and anything that is ignitable explodes. Catch you are catching fire on the slave. My god. monster. I'm helping Mr. Kringle. <laughs> Oh, but you can't do something that would harm him. I don't know it's going to harm him. Uh, well, you don't know it's going to harm the halfling then, do you? Yeah, but it's right next to him, so it's like, if I yeah. catch fire. Mm. I, think, I think we allow mm. this and just watch the mayhem happen. The thing is, if you know that things are exploding, then you wouldn't ignite it since you're next to him. Alright, alright. Change it up, change it up, change it up, change it up. If you I know have him firing, I'm having him firing, it's a cone, so I'm having him firing in this direction so that it hits him. And it's just out of reach of Mr. Kringle. But it will also hit the sleigh. Yes. That's no, fine. What, what if it just what happens it? by chance? Yeah, but if... if um, uh, no, the uh, thing uh, that, that Mr. Kringle has enough, is hardy enough to survive the blast that the others no, are... You can't, you do can't harm, do something that would bring harm to the person who charmed you. Yes, intentionally. Okay, I well, say... Well, you're intentionally what, doing that with your cones. I mean, I mean, I'm, intentionally about, trying okay. to, I'm intentionally trying to hurt the halfling on behalf of Mr. Kringle. My recommendation... You're, you're literally... My, my recommendation would be... Fred makes, like, either an intelligence or a wisdom check to see if they could work out the fact that this would be harming to Santa. All I'm gonna say is, has anyone noticed that you've rolled a D100 down there with 47? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he's doing percentile chance. Not damage. I hope he's not doing damage. Yeah, or I am he's just rolled dead. twice and one of them was 15, so. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing maths. He's doing maths. Really, on his it head. doesn't matter how much we, we argue about the rules for charm. It's up to Jason. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is also true. Whether or not it goes off. Oh, no, so this so. is a one shot. <laughs> he's like, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Welcome well, to giving. 
Welcome to giving your party a, a, ba a wagon full of fireballs. <laughs> the, other fi the other fireball didn't set the wagon off, though. Valid. He oh, no. If, Where's okay. my calculator? If the, 47, <laughs> if the 47 was damage, then I am just dead. I love it. <laughs> like, like, that's, that's, that's full on my hit points into the negative, like, I'm dead, dead. Unless you pass the dexterity saving throw. Valid. <laughs> then I'm just unconscious. Yeah. And I, I have one way to heal. If you can beat while unconscious, I can crumble it into your mouth, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is why healing potions are potions. Guys. Uh, will be fine. Just, just shove it down. Please no. But this is because of crafty. <laughs> is that how much damage we're all taking? That's damage. <laughs> the thing is. <laughs> was, the, was the 47 how many. What is the four? That's how many that fireballs. It was 47 plus 15 fireballs. So there are uh, what? This also we're all dead. to him. We're all dead. As I'm all right. as the uh, I, I presume that the colossal that explosion is. goes off, I'm not and I am about to become engulfed in flames. I say, "But well, I got yeah. the tosser for you, sir." <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, okay, okay. Yeah, but actually, right actually, to him. him. Okay, I, I'm right next to him. Now, this is the other question because fireballs, like. The, the AOE shouldn't get any larger, it's just a lot of fireballs yeah. in a very set location. So, you I... three are fine, it's just the three of us in the center just no, immediately I... eviscerate. Perfect, really you do realize you are harming Santa as well. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, but my character didn't know there were fireballs in there. <laughs> I it. Oh, wait, it's a 20 foot radius sphere, so. Yeah. No, I am alright. No. Yeah. So, uh, it's not that good for reindeer either. <laughs> Craft is okay. Travis is okay. Get to make a save or something? <laughs> I mean, yes, but like, you're taking either 1704 damage or 852 damage. Do you have over. No! Or 100. <laughs> then you've just no. gone up and a big ball of flames. HP. If you yeah, if you have 427 max HP and you're on 427 HP, you can survive. Does, does this mean I've saved Christmas? Uh, it rather means you've got Santa's I, workshop. I, I would first ask for Jason to uh, to describe what happens as as this cannon shoots the flamethrower. As the cannon fires the fire uh, fires at the wagon, ginormous fireball erupts, completely incinerating Slay, Pringle, Milo, and Charcoal, and uh, Reindeer, and the cannon. Do I... am I still charmed? <laughs> no. No, the charm is gone. <laughs> ah! Ah! Wait, does that... Does that... wait... Is that is that how that works? Wait, what is the ability? I, I don't know the exact don't wording know if of the it ability. Ends after, I don't know if it ends if the person dies. Hang on. Well, if, it, if it's concentration, it must do. Uh, no, it's just duration it's one hour. Not. Duration so, one hour. He's gonna be no, you're still next. charmed. Yeah. Do I have, so, to, I have to make a wisdom save for Frank? Is it now? Yes, you wisdom saving, saving throw. throw. <laughs> 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 oh, no, okay, you're not charmed anymore. Okay. I look upon the, the smoldering uh, wreckage. Travis, we celebrate. Come to my <laughs> new workshop. We shall feast on turkey. I am just sat down. Like, I had PTSD already. <laughs> this, this has kind of took me over the edge. I'm just this was the turkeys. Like, my eyes are twitching. <laughs> and, and I'm not really speaking. <laughs> now it's fire. Now fire is the cause of PTSD. It is fine, my friend. <laughs> no, we have saved people. Christmas. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna look at you, like, and you, like, tears, like, welling up, shaking. And then this force comes out and kills you both. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling emotional myself. too, my friend, but 
you know, let's just go and celebrate and think of the demise of our flying gnome, our charcoal-infested gnome, and our half-link tosser. No, I'm, 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 I'm in such a state. I'm firing my crossbow, but I will roll it at this advantage because I'm shaking that much. Who are you firing it at? At of the fire in stuff. his vague direction because I'm freaking the fuck out, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thirteen. Uh, the thirteen does not hit. Uh, I'm just gonna still. I'm just. I'm sitting there. I'm not reloading it. I'm just sitting there looking at you, just continually pulling the trigger. Well, I'm gonna go find <laughs> Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Time to make some gingerbread. <laughs> and I walk off with, that... with a bit of a trot. <laughs> Uh, and a bit of a fucking step. This is what he does. And with that, in... um, <laughs> Frederick Fizzlewig takes over uh, the factory as its new leader. Um, and uh, I guess uh, Travis is, uh, he just goes completely insane. That's it, Merry in, Christmas, in the, everybody! In the mess of fire, there is just a single pebble. Just, just, just lying there. <laughs> and the next morning, children all across the land wake up with no presents. Christmas. You're welcome, America. <laughs> <laughs> and that's oh, gonna no, wrap oh, it no. up. No pun intended.